Hey everybody, Jane here with your 24-7 team with another Did You Know? Did you know that there is a right way to park a golf cart and there's a wrong way to park a golf cart? There's a whole lot of dispute here in the villages of bad golf cart parking. So what I'm going to do today is show you the good and the bad and there may be even some ugly. So anyway, I also so the first thing I want to share with you before I show you any pictures is that in the villages there is parallel parking, but the villages gives you a super large space to parallel park in, so um, that's not a big deal. But there are lines for parallel parking, so you may park within those lines of parallel parking. But what we're going to see is that because those spaces are so large that a car can be in that parallel parking space and there can still be space that a cart could fit into. But that's a no-no and I'm going to show you pictures. So this is a perfect example of parking appropriately in a parallel parking zone for a car. You've got your line here. You've got your line here and the car is in it. That is how cars parallel park. So this is a perfect example of how golf carts park. You've got your line for the parallel parking here. You've got these golf carts that have pulled in side by side. And they are all in that line. That's the other way, how to park. That's the good. Now, if they were really smart, they could have pulled tighter and they could have gotten one more cart in there. But you know what? They did it just right. So they get the star. So this is when it gets really ugly. This car parked over the line for parallel parking. So look what this golf cart did. He parked inside that. Now there's not to say there's blame here. It's hard to say, um, you know, I can't answer who's, who, who made the first mistake, but this is a problem because now another golf cart could come in and park beside that one. And then it messes this up. And sometimes people park between those two cars. So that's the conundrum of it all. So let me see if I can find some pictures. Another great example of good. All these golf carts parked in a row inside the lines. They get a gold star and this gets a no star. He's a little over the line and another golf cart has parked in the space. That's a no star. So this gets the ugly award. There's, there's just no, nothing to say about that one. Well, folks, that's it. The good, the bad, and the ugly with golf cart parking. I'm no judge, so no worries on my part, but there are a lot of blogs about bad parking in the villages. It gets people a little irritated. Uh, there is a right way and there is a wrong way. So these pictures show the right way and they show the wrong way. And now you know. Any more questions? Give my teammates and myself a call. We are your 24-7 team, meaning we work 24-7, 365. Uh, my name's Jane. My teammates are Chris and Carol. And our number is 352-751-0247. We look forward to hearing from you and coming down and learning to park your golf cart properly. Have a great day. Bye.